Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 10th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have learnt various use of number columns. And in today's class, we will just only talk about manage parameter. So before moving to our topic, I have simply created one visual for you guys. So let's go to the visual. So you guys can see we have a list of countries here, which is Japan, China, Pakistan. And we have displayed country wise sales. So my requirement is I want to see the sales only two countries like India and Pakistan. So what I need to do, I will have to set parameter to display the sales of these two countries. Go to the power query editor window. So in a home tab, we have option guys manage parameter. So firstly, I'll tell you the definition of parameter. Parameter help us to store and manage this value and give flexibility to change the view dynamically. So you guys can make a note of it because this question is generally asked in an interview. So let's start the practical guys. Now you guys can see we have a list of countries. So first I'll select this country column. Then go to the manage parameter. Now we will set the parameter on the basis of two countries which is India and Pakistan. Now click to the new parameter. So the first we need to type the name of the parameter. So I'll type here country wise filter. This is the name of my parameter. Now under description box, you can write anything. It's an optional guys. So I'll type here. Okay. Now come to the next part, which is type. So you need to select the correct data type here. So our data type is text, not a number or not a date. So I'll select here text. So the next step is suggested value. So you need to select list of values here. So if you have any new queries, then you can select new queries else you need to select list of values. In my case, I will select list of values and create list here guys. So I want to display the sales only India and Pakistan. So I'll write here India and the next one is Pakistan. And you can add multiple values if you want, but I will select only two. And one important thing you guys keep in mind that these values are case sensitive, which means if your all values are in capital letter, then you need to type in caps. And if one letter is in caps and other are small, so you need to type accordingly. But in my case, all values are in caps. I'll write here all values in caps. Now we need to select the default value. Which means after applying this parameter, what would be your default value? So I want my default value should be India. And you can also put it here India in current values. Then I'll click OK. Now you guys can see in left side, our parameter has added and it has came up like added new queries. So now go back to our table. Now what you need to do, you need to go this country column and select this drop down. After that, go to the text filter and click on equals. Now you just need to click this small drop down and select parameter. So here is only one parameter. So it's by default, take this parameter. We have more than two parameter, then it will ask for more than two, three, four, and so on. So I just created only one parameter here. You guys can add multiple parameter according to your data set and according to a requirement. So I click just OK here. Now you guys can see the whole data set just get filtered by country wise, which is India, because we have selected the default value as India. But we have created parameter on the basis of India and Pakistan. So just close and apply and go to our visual and click here on apply changes. So now you guys can see our visual is getting display only India sales because we have selected India as by default.
so if you want to change this parameter into the pakistan so you need to go this transform data and click edit parameters and you can select our second country which is pakistan and click ok then apply changes now you guys can see the sale is converted into pakistan so in this way you can set the parameter according to your requirement you can add multiple parameters according to the date according to the country wise product wise so on i hope you guys have really enjoyed this video and definitely you have learned new feature of power query editor so i would recommend make note of each and every topic and study in detail that will definitely help you in an interview so i will upload next video very soon with new feature of power query editor so please like share and subscribe this video and share with those who really want to learn power bi from scratch they all can learn free power bi course with this channel no need to join any institute and don't need to pay anything to anyone stay tuned with us and kindly support this channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much guys